Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn how to handle iframes in Selenium with Python. So as we have understood about the handling of the windows in the previous tutorial, handling iframes is no different and we'll understand what exactly are the iframes as well. And then why do we need to switch to iframes before we interact with the elements that are there within the iframe? So as we have understood about the windows, so if you want to launch a new window or if by clicking on a particular web element a new window gets launched the focus needs to switch to the new window before you can interact with the web elements that are there on the new window similar is true with the iframes now before i explain iframe let's see what exactly is an iframe okay so i'll very simply open the w3 website where they have this iframe demo and if you read the description here so the definition says it's an inline frame and it is used to embed another html document or another document within the current parent html document so that's the simplest definition so say for example your web page is a html document so it's a dom and then within that html document you can have multiple documents if you use iframe so iframe can provide you a section to add a completely new or a child document within the parent document right so that's the relevance of iframe and how we how iframes will look like so if you click on this say for example try it yourself you will see that this iframe element so the iframe element plus css so these are the iframes so this is first section here so this is one of the parent iframe then within this parent iframe this is one of it then there is another iframe with a thin black border and if you scroll further right there is an iframe with no border right so there are three iframes here three child iframes and then there is one more iframe which is the parent iframe here right and why it is important so if you can see if you want to divide the pages uh, logically or into sections then with the iframe i am able to do it right so the in the left hand side there is a code in the right hand side it's actually displaying the result of that particular code if i run this particular code right so and if i right click and inspect you will see that let's explore a code a little bit right so let me inspect it and here you will see let me click on this little icon and hover over so you will see that this is the parent iframe right so this is the iframe with an id iframe result an iframe result okay and if you scroll up or let me inspect this particular section here right so here you, you have this parent html right so parent html has this iframe which is the result iframe that we have seen okay let me go to this one right so this is the result iframe now if i minimize all the sections here so below this particular html document there is another iframe right so iframe first iframe which is this particular section and iframe with default borders then there is second iframe which is the next one this one thin black border and then there is another iframe which is basically below this right so there are three iframes this one okay so now if say for example usually if there were no iframe on this particular page and this whole thing was part of the one html document right one document object model then i could have directly say for example i want to click on paid courses i'll right click inspect and I will copy the locator so I'll go to selectors hub I can quickly copy the locator so whatever relative X path and can click on this particular web element now because this web element is within the iframe so as we have seen about the windows we have to switch the focus to the window first before we can click on any of the web element on that particular window similar is true for the iframes first thing you have to switch to the iframe and then you have to basically interact with the web elements that are there within the iframe so these web elements these tutorials this image references all these are within this particular child iframe so we have to first come or focus to this particular iframe and then it will be able to click okay so let me go to pycharm and i will copy all of these windows the multiple window handling code and i'll create a new python file and i'll name it as demo iframes paste everything here remove all of the code because we'll be writing the new code we'll just keep the important stuff that we'll be using okay so we'll we are working with the w3 website so let me get the link of this particular page okay so let me copy and open this particular page 
I'll minimize this. Okay. So these two lines will basically open this page, W3Schools page, which has the iframe into Chrome browser. Let me change this demo class name to demo iframe and then demo the method to demo frames. Okay. So now, say for example, now I want to click on the particular web element within this particular iframe, right? So usually if it wasn't iframe, I'll simply inspect and copy this relative X path. And then simply I can say driver dot find element and then by dot X path comma provide the X path there. All right. And then simply say dot click. Right. So this will click on this particular on the web element that is present on the particular page. Now, because this is in the iframe, it will fail. So let's see that it fails. So we'll create an object of this particular class. So to run this particular class, so we'll say D I frame, just define a variable there and create an object. And then we'll say D I frame dot demo frames. And let me run this and show you that this will actually fail because this web element is within the iframe. So you'll see that it has failed and it is showing the message no such element unable to locate element, right? Let me maximize this page as well. So we'll say driver dot maximize window after launching this particular URL. Okay. And close this page. All right. So now before we can interact with this particular web element, what we need to do is we need to find that particular iframe, right? So where is that iframe? If we go ahead and inspect it, so let me inspect this particular. So first thing is we have to switch the parent iframe, right? So if we see the parent iframe, it has an ID, it has a name as well, right? So we can use either ID name or index to switch in the iframe. And if you go to the web driver API documentation, you can use the iframe name, frame name, you can use the index, right? And you can also use the tag name and then provide the index accordingly. So you can within this frame, you can provide driver dot find element by tag name or you know, uh, by X path or whatever, you can still use it. So let's say we want to use the X path in this particular case, okay, or name and ID. So how we can do it. So we can simply first thing is we have to switch to the parent frame and then a child first child within that particular parent. So we'll say driver dot switch to dot frame as we have done for the window similar thing we have to do for the frame and then within this we can simply say driver dot find element by we'll say x path and say for example i find the locator for this particular parent frame okay so let me inspect and find the locator the x path for this parent frame so locator is frame x path in the selectors hub you can see that this is in frame it it clearly highlights it, which is very good feature of selectors hub that you will be able to understand that this is actually in frame. So I'll copy this X path there and then use this X path. So this switch to frame will actually switch to the frame, which has this particular X path, which is the parent frame. Okay. Now, once we are in the parent frame, in order to click on this particular web element, this web element is not the, the child of this parent frame. It is actually the child of the child, uh, the iframe child, which is within this particular iframe result, right? So we have to again switch in this space. There are three child frames, right? So first one will be at index zero, then one and then two, right? So we can use index because I don't think there are, if you go through these iframes here, so there is no ID and name, right? So we can't use ID and name. So let's use the index. So what we'll do is we'll say driver dot switch to dot frame and then we'll use say for example we want to switch to zero because the first frame will be at index zero so we'll use zero okay and let's say see whether it will click or not okay so after clicking let me put some sleep so that you can see that it has actually switched and clicked all right let me run it and this time if it is able to switch to both the frames successfully then it should not give me any error all right so you can see that it has successfully been able to click on the link here okay so now what we have learned we have learned how to switch using the index so switch with index right and then this is switching with locator iframe locator so you can use basically any locator so if you are you know if you are able to identify the iframe locator by x path by css selector whatever you will be able to switch to that particular iframe locator then say for example i want to switch by the name right so instead of this locator let me comment this out i'll show you how you can switch with id and then we'll say switch with name 
right so you understand all the different options that you can use so if say for example there is an id available for the frame so we'll say driver dot switch to dot frame and the id of the frame was iframe result right so let's say we want to switch by id right and then similarly for the name and how you can find the id and name you simply go to that particular page right and in the parent frame you'll see that id iframe result is there and the name iframe result is there right so same id same id is there and same name is there so the id value and the name value is same so you can copy the id value or the name value and you can use id or name to switch so let's first switch by the name i'll comment out the id and see if everything works as expected and then we'll understand or run with the name so it should open the page maximize the page and then this time should switch by the id and you can see it has clicked on paid courses and closed right so this is how you will switch by id now say for example i want to switch by name switch uh, to frame by the frame name then i can simply provide the name in this frame and run it so it should work exactly the same way as it has worked for the id or for for the other locators it will open maximize the page and click on paid courses right so this is as simple as it is handling the windows and you can easily work out the switching between the frames the key thing is basically to understand how many iframes are there and what is the logical structuring of the frames within the page right so if you understand that say for example you missed this particular parent frame and you directly wanted to switch to this frame then you will definitely get error right so understanding that logical structuring how things are structured within the frame then within the page how frame how many frames are there and how they are structured you will be very easily be able to handle frames within selenium python and we have understood about you know let me uncomment all these lines so that i can explain you clearly so we have understood about switching with iframe locator so here i have used the iframe locator xpath you can use any other locator similar to what we used to find the web elements by the id by the frame or by the frame index right so this is how you will be handling or you will be able to handle the iframes within selenium python using different switching techniques to handle iframe all right so i'll put this code in you know this this code will be available for you for your reference i'll upload that don't worry about it so just go through it and do not just stick to it try to explore a lot more different possibilities to handle frames and switching between frames and interacting with the web elements within frames all right so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching